Good afternoon. It is Friday, January 31st, 2014. This is Jason Horak reporting on the ongoing uh, trials and tribulations of the Dodge Daytona electric vehicle. Um, I've been driving the car all winter. It's been cold and miserable. And uh, as you can see, I've got my charger all ripped apart again. I wonder why that could be. <laughs> well, as it turns out, the charger's dead again. Um, I would have been charging the car outside, as shown in uh, one of the previous videos, um, and everything was working great. Um, the other day I went out, drove to the town of Groton, um, which is, I don't know, 15, 20 miles away, something like that. Um, ended up spending a total of 65 amp hours um, out of my battery pack. Um, and it was about 5 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so we were above zero for a change. That was nice, but <laughs> anyway, so went out, bought some groceries, um, you know, came back home, and everything was good. The, the back of the car here was loaded up with, um, you know, I had lots of groceries just here in the back. No big deal. Um, and uh, the charger, I plugged it in, the charger started up, and I heard it heard it turn on, saw the lights, you know, and took my groceries in the house and didn't think anything else of it. Well, I came back out uh, the next day to go somewhere and noticed immediately that the charger was off. There were, you know, no, no lights on the front panel here. Um, it was just, you know, basically dead as a doornail. I was like, oh, that's weird. Uh, also, the breaker was down, so it had kicked. Uh, the little AC breaker there. And, uh, again, I thought that was kind of strange. Um, and I looked on my JLD 404 meter, and it showed that I was still down 63 some odd amp hours. Um, so the charger had maybe charged for uh, just a little bit, and then something happened, and it shut off, and it was gone. I don't know. Um, but now, every time I turn on the... Um, the breaker switch, it instantly makes like a pop. There's a nice whiff of smoke, and it smell or it seems a lot like um, it's got blown IGBTs again. Um, so I <laughs> I don't know what could have happened. Um, again, it was plugged in, charging just like it has every day for you know two three months, and uh, but apparently that day it just wasn't happy. Okay, so what we're going to do is just show you how it's um, set up in here in the car. Uh, so basically we've got this lead that goes up to the front bus bars, the pack positive and pack negative. And then this one goes to the, um, the side port there where the gas filler hole used to be. Um, and again, it's pretty much a straight through uh, connection um, just you know, to the wall, to a NEMA 14-50 on the wall. Um, so, first things first, we're going to test the AC. So we're gonna jam this in here, to here, and so we're showing 120 volts, 120.9 on that side. And on this side, we have 119.6, 19.7, wait, somewhere in there. Um, and then, of course, across both, we have our 230, if I get it to stay in there, one handed here, 240 volts AC, give or take. Um, so that's the AC side. Now, the DC side, I'll put it in here. So we have 192 volts, 192.4.3 right now. Um, so because the pack is partially discharged, um, and so what those plug into is just on the charger. I put on this connector instead of the uh, regular Anderson uh, 50 amp connector. This is an Anderson um, kind of a modular style that can handle up to I believe 120 amps. Um, so it's just a little beefier connector, um, and this is what came on the charger that I bought from Brian. Um, I'm going to butcher his last name, Kokoran, I believe. 
um, the guy at the Evcon that I bought that uh, 50 amp charger. And anyway, it had this kind of connection, and he helped me by wiring this connection into the car. Um, so I wanted to make sure that both of my chargers had the same type of plug, and thus I added this to my uh, PFC 40M charger as well. Um, as far as the AC input, the charger has a standard NEMA 14-50 plug on it. This is at, you know as came from the factory from Manzanita, and that's it. So that is the hookup. Uh, for the charger, and so it isn't really, I don't know, rocket science or anything, and <laughs> I don't know what keeps happening. He's blowing up my Manzanita chargers. Um, again, this this particular charger, this is now, I believe, if it's broken in the way I believe it is, um, we're talking the third time that we've blown out the IGBTs. Uh, you know, at least one time I think it was water, um, caused by water, but... So anyway, so I'm gonna plug in. Sorry, I was off camera there. Uh, I'm plugging in the DC side of things, and um, I'm not gonna bother plugging in the AC side. <laughs> Take my word for it. When I turn it on, the breaker kicks and uh, <laughs> little puffs of smoke come out. I don't want to abuse the charger any more than I already already have. Um, but what I wanted to show you is an interesting little uh, measurement here. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get all this on camera properly, but we'll try. Um, so basically what this is, is the wiring inside the charger is pretty straightforward. Um, let's put this on here. some fashion that looks reasonably professional-ish. Okay. So this here is where the, um, either the positive or the negative, I forget, come in from... Um, this line, th this, this wire right here. So that's the DC voltage coming in, and then this other black wire that goes right here, this guy, is the other um, uh, leg, you know, the negative in that case. So what we're going to do, let's see my handy dandy little meter will show up here on camera, and I can do this without electrocuting myself. That would be preferable. Okay. So what we've got is, let's see, let me set this, this is rubber coated, so we'll just kind of set it right up on top like a pro. Alright. So currently showing no voltage at all. And out of the camera. <laughs> there we go, look at that. Okay. So if I put the AC lead on here, and the DC lead, or the negative AC, sorry, the positive on there, um, and the other one here, we're showing 192.3 volts DC. So that's coming from my battery pack. All good. And now if I go to the other side of the fuse, we also have 192.4. So as far as I can tell, the fuse isn't actually blown. Um, I mean, it's, it's still passing full voltage. I don't know if that really means anything, but from what I can tell, <laughs> it, that looks just fine. So we've got full voltage, or, or you know, we've got the full DC thing going on. I don't know what blew up the charger. I really don't. Um, so I'm going to be shipping this back to Manzanita in, uh, uh, out in the state of Washington once again. And... Um, yeah, we'll go from there. So, uh, yeah, that's it for today, <laughs> for that particular issue. I'm going to get this all bundled back up together, um, and I'm going to hook up my... Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and hook up the PFC50 that I have um, to the same exact configuration here, and I guess we'll see if that blows up too. Because, hey, I don't know. <laughs> Be right back. Okay, so as you can see, I have the PFC 50M charger in the car now, and uh, just for size comparison, I put the 40M on top, so you can kind of see just how much more massive <laughs> the 50 is. Um, but uh, and ironically, with my size pack, it puts out exactly the same amount of power. Um, some kind of weird factor of how it calculates to 
200 volts uh, for the pack voltage on the car. Um, and based on how much power it can draw from the wall, it ends up charging just about exactly the same speed. So, anyway, um, so what we're going to do, since my history has been to, of blowing stuff up all the time, I figured I might as well get it on film while we turn the sucker on for the first time. <laughs> so, okay. The voltage, or the amperage knob, as per standard procedure, all the way down to the left, as far as it will go. And we're going to turn her on and cross our fingers. Alright, we have lights. That's a good sign. That usually means that, uh, you know, things haven't blown up yet. Alright, we're going to start turning up the, bon or the, the knob. And I can see behind the camera on my JLD 404 um, that the voltage is going up. I'm going to crank this bad boy all the way up to max. And then have a look at what the GLD 404 is doing. Butter is amped. So there we go. So we're showing 34 amps, um, or 38 amps, 39 kind of fluctuates from 34 to 39 um, going into the pack from this charger. Um, as far as the... So we're at 201.5 uh, volts and we're at currently uh, minus 41 amp hours. They apparently had reset it at one point after the 60 amp hour deal. Um, so we're down about 100 right now. So there we go. So anyway, so that's uh, happily pumping in some some amps, and we're once again charging. So it would seem that the PFC40 is in fact dead again, and uh, <laughs> I managed to kill it somehow. So anyway, we're gonna again go ahead and ship that back to Manzanita Micro. Um, and uh, I have this lovely shipping container uh, that uh, is padded and it's made of plastic and stuff. Very, very similar to the one that I sent the motor back to uh, NetGain in, uh, actually. So, um, anyway, I'll get that all boxed up and shipped off. And I'll give uh, folks at Manzanita a call and let them know that uh, it's on its way. Um, yeah, so hopefully it won't be an expensive repair, but... Uh, if it's the IGBTs again, I'm sure it will be. So, anyway, <laughs> uh, that's it for this particular bout of fun. I'm going to charge up the car, and uh, it should be good. Um, one thing that I should note is that it's really cold out. It's about 20 degrees outside. And I moved the car into the garage due to this um, <laughs> incident. Uh, so I'm heating my garage with this little propane heater and uh, so it's like a heater head that goes on the top of a propane tank and uh, that's actually caused it to warm it up in here pretty nicely um, so that we are currently at 53 degrees um, which is really nice compared to the 20 or so degrees that it is outside now um, yeah so anyway so that's it for that particular uh, project